For at least a thousand years, a reclusive, global group of individuals has been altering and reinventing one of the key attributes that makes us human. For the first time in history, a feature film will document and expose precisely what they've been up to all this time. I decided to experiment with a language that didn't have any verbs. Maybe it's possible to create a language that isn't so limited, that can express more of what goes on in our heads than natural languages normally do. I was trying to memorize a bunch of German adjective inflections, and it suddenly occurred to me, you know, I could do better than this. If all the lines were not in Dorthraki and they were in English, it would not even come close to what the performance would have been without having that language. I don't remember whose idea the gripping language was. Other than I've had and haven't made it a language communicated in food. I teach a course on constructed languages. One student said, don't tell my physics professor that I'm spending so much time on this language. I'm like not even doing my physics homework. I suppose you could say on one hand that I'm conlanging all the time, because I really am. I'm always thinking about it. When I started learning NatV, I didn't know that I was going to end up married. Uh, because of it. I am here right now because I had a refuge in the language. You know, and I'm very grateful for that. Join us on this virtual museum tour of everything that you didn't know you didn't know about conlangs and the people who make them.